My name is Shahzada Ahmed. I work at Abengo Research. I'm a principal research scientist. We are lead a group of uh, molecular photovoltaics, what we call third generation solar cells, and also energy storage. It's uh, crystalline solar cells, Vicky. It's in the market, and it was uh, more than six decades uh, back. It was invented in Bell Labs. So it took a long time, and they have their own merit. And if you see the graph, the price has come down from almost $200 per watt. Right now it's 50 cents per watt big. So, but it's still the humanity, the, the, the growing population, they need more energy, which is more flexible, and you can put on your houses, on the facade of the windows. So we are looking for alternative challenges. Still, if you consume all the silicon on the earth crust, it is not going to meet the terawatt challenge. Right now, we are using 15 terawatt, the whole Earth uses. And by 2050, when the population from current 7 billion to right to 10 billion people, so the, uh, the increase will be 30 terawatt per year. So there's a huge uh, gap between the demand and the supply. So we need to look for alternative resources. And it comes from different, okay, uh, the, the, the different resources. Uh, today, maybe these third generation solar cells are not stable, but maybe another six years, another five years. We should look for the futures. And silicon is, uh, with the China, thanks to the China, the price has gone down. But it's not the only solution right now we have. So uh, the Michael Gatzel, at, uh, in, at, I think it's uh, 1989, they first looked for this disensitized solar cell. And then uh, it was subsequently also in um, California. Uh, Ellen Heger grab and Shrikawa, they also make organic solar cells, OPV, we call organic photovoltaics. So they are very good, but still, they were, uh, in disensitized solar cells, you use a liquid electrolyte, which can be a problem for the uh, futures if there's a leakage, something. But organic solar cells was, of course, there's a different layer than solid state, but the efficiency was not able to match the magic figure, at least you need something 15%. And then if uh, something has a 15%, like Department of Energy, DOE has also has set up a benchmark. Any technology which we, they want to push or see as a future mature technology should at least show 15 percent. So in recent years, we were very, very fortunate with the, the, the knowledge we gained from disensitized solar cell or organic photovoltaic, they're all mixed together. And then here come the Pascal solar cells. So currently, I think this NREL certified is 22.1 percent. So, and okay, we know there are some issues right now. It will not go to the market today and tomorrow, but the whole world is working on it. And maybe very sooner they will come with a more stable material, or again, the knowledge gained from perovskite will allow them to make a more new type of stable perovskite. And it will be a game changer in the photovoltaics. The young researchers have a, a lot of opportunity right now because the, 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 the training they are getting is not mature now. And probably in the coming years or let's say decades, Hopefully, we will have an alternative technology for the PV. It should come from whatever with the thin film, as you know, the thin film is cadmium uh, uh, CIGS or cadmium telluride based. It's also a success story. It means cadmium telluride, nobody was believing it. But today, cadmium telluride is a success story, and the LCOE, levelized cost of electricity, is very cheap, even lower than silicon. So, the, and this is also a thin film based photovoltaic. So, the training the young researcher will get is can be used on a multi-directional, uh, either thin film by CIGS cadmium telluride, or by the time they grew, the perovskite solar cell or any new type of future technology, they will get mature. So it will be very easy to them, and I know many new, uh, many big companies are interested, and they are looking for new resources, uh, new technology, and for their deployment in manufacturing.